Ladies and gentlemen, this is Secret Story, uh, my guitar channel. Uh, my name is Todd Henry. Uh, today I'm doing a quick demo on the um, Line 6 FBV Shortboard MK2. Um, give you a quick shot of that and you can see how that looks. Um, So this is a MIDI controller, uh, and, and basically, you know, you have 13 switches that you can assign um, to a DAW or to a standalone guitar type platform, uh, main stage, what have you. Uh, it also has an expression pedal. I don't generally use that, but you can use it for wah, volume, etc. Uh, and so my goal today is to show you how to set it up in a DAW. Um, I'm using Ableton Live, but it, it's applicable to, to various you know, types of, of digital audio workstations, Logic, uh, Pro Tools, Reaper, etc. So what, what you're seeing here is um, the first set for uh, the My Dead Heroes project. Um, I'm doing a bunch of like 90s grunge covers and I, I'm actually going to end up uh, weaving some Tom Petty in that, probably some doors. Um, um, and, and some other things. So any, anyway, um, you can see uh, here are my uh, various tracks and channels. Um, I do have some percussion tracks that are weaved in here. I've got a vocal uh, and then my various guitar tones here. I've got some lead tones, some crunch tones, some clean tones, and some acoustic tones. Um, demoing on the um, Paul Reed Smith uh, Hollow Body 2 Piezo SE today. I've done a demo on this uh, previously. You can check that out on the channel. Um, but it's got two outputs, one's a piezo output and one is a, uh, you know, the magnetic outputs, the 8515s. Uh, and so one goes into the acoustic channel, one goes into the uh, guitar channel, uh, the magnetic channel. Um, so essentially what I need to do is I need to arm um, and map these switches to these arming buttons that are going to toggle uh, you know, my acoustic tone on or toggle the clean tone on and then I'm going to also map uh, that's some transport buttons. It's really, really easy to do. Uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go options and find your preferences. Uh, this varies for different DAWs. Uh, for Ableton, it's right here. And you want to find your MIDI tab uh, to designate um, a, a new MIDI uh, instrument, a new MIDI uh, controller. Um, and, and, and so this may happen automatically as you plug it in. It's a USB type thing, so um, it, you know, it may appear automatically. If it doesn't, um, you'll need to select you know, from your, your list here. You can see other MIDI devices I've got hooked up currently. Um, but mine have been pre-configured uh, previously. You can see uh, FBV short, Shortboard MK2 and uh, tracking changes on. So um, it's going to just track uh, signals from the foot switch and the expression pedal uh, that needs to be on. Uh, I've got remote on here too. I don't think this needs to be, but um, the uh, track uh, function needs to be armed. Um, so once that's done and it's configured for uh, your device, it is really, really simple from here. Um, you're going to find your MIDI mapping button and engage it. Um, so right now, uh, I can choose any button in this window here and map it to a foot switch. Uh, let me clear these out. So um, first thing I want to do, let's say, is, is map my acoustic tone. All right, and so I'm going to map that to the bottom row of switches here. So I'm going to click the record arm button and then Down here, I'm going to click the button that I want to trigger it. And we'll say it's that first one on the left. Now back on the screen, you can see that uh, it, it does have an indicator here now that um, you know this button has been armed or mapped. And then over in the MIDI mappings, you can see that uh, CC110, uh, which is linked to that first button, is what triggers this uh, Acoustic Fishman uh, channel to be armed. Now uh, I'm going to take a second and go through the rest of this um, and arm my various other guitar tones um, so that you can see how this works.
Okay, so you can see I've got uh, four different guitar tones armed uh, for A, B, C, and D buttons. So which is, uh, there's the acoustic, the clean is on 111, uh, the crunch is on 112, the big lead is on 113, uh, and I've got play mapped to 102 and stop mapped to 103, which are kind of on the top of the board. Um, so you're just going to exit, and um, once you've exited, uh, let's pull this up here. Uh, you can see here, if I click the button, it's going to arm the acoustic Fishman channel over on the far right there. Doop. And, you know, I can just go through the rest of the tones. Here's the clean tone. Switch back to session view so you can see these click back and forth. crunch tone. You can see it's almost instantaneous too. Um, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'd say it's probably quicker than your round trip latency. So uh, on this, my workstation, my round trip latency is like uh, three and a half seconds. Um, I would venture to say it's quicker because all it's doing is it's shooting an electronic signal up to your DAW. Uh, it's not processing any audio, it's just like a click. And so your DAW immediately recognizes that. So I would say it's probably quicker than the... Probably quicker than your round trip latency in most cases. So um, this has been really useful for me. Um, I've actually got an extra one of these, so I'm throwing one up on reverb. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can do any number of things. You can arm a standalone uh, platform, like I said, the neural DSP stuff, uh, their standalone type thing, or I think main stage kind of aggregates all that stuff and wraps it, um, and then you know makes it into like a pedal board. You could you could do that um, and trigger main stage with this. Um, any number of of of, of functions, um, and it's really just plug and play, man. You you, you plug the USB A into the uh, short board and the other side of the USB into the uh, computer and you're off you know a couple of configuration type things I, I, I would add one more thing so I, I do remember when I first got this I had to tweak the settings on the board itself a little bit and there is uh, a free download from line 6 for this particular product that you can configure your switches there's three types of switching uh, there's a momentary, a toggle, and a latch, and I think, yeah, the one that I'm using to switch functions uh, in the DAW, to just press a button in the DAW, is momentary. Um, toggle actually turns it on and turns it off again um, as you let go of the switch, and then latch, I think, holds it. Uh, so you want the momentary. So um, there, there is that one extra step that wasn't shown in this video, but it, again, really intuitive, very, pretty simple to, to put together. Um, so I, I recommend this stuff for um, people that are using, uh, uh, you, you know, amp sims and that sort of thing, because, um, you know, who wants to go into an amp sim and, 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 you know, click buttons on your laptop to change a patch? For example, if you're practicing with a demo of some sort, like you're gonna have to pause the demo and like go out to your platform and click clean channel and then uh, you know restart your 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 audio or whatever. Um, just get one of these things for a hundred bucks or whatever and and map it uh, to your standalone or map it to your DAW and then all that stuff's on your foot just like it would be a, a traditional analog pedal board. So. Um, Highly recommend the, the, this product as well as any other products like by Mellow Audio, the Mini Commander I think is really good. Um, there's one by Actition uh, that's supposed to be really, really good. I haven't had any direct experience with it, but uh, you know, there's any number of brands and flavors for these things. And um, you know, uh, I, I just encourage you that if you're playing with different tones in a standalone or a DAW, uh, grab you one of these things because it's instantaneous triggers from your foot just like a traditional analog pedal board. 
I uh, hope this was informative and you enjoyed watching this. Uh, stay tuned for other uh, cool stuff coming out of my channel here in the next few weeks. Um, uh, that's it for me today. Uh, uh, have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you soon on, on the channel.